I installed an 800 milliamp hour battery in my F949S for longer flight times. However, during the endurance test, the motors burnt out. In this part 3 review of my F949S, I will show you the motor burnout when I install the 800 milliamp hour battery, buy and install a replacement motor, and then do a subsequent flight test and endurance test. The flight times might surprise you. Let's get started. Okay, here's a test of the 800 milliamp hour battery that I bought for the F949S. It comes standard with a 500 milliamp hour battery, but this 800 milliamp hour battery should give it a bit more endurance. It add, does add 13 grams, so instead of being 60 grams, it comes 59 grams, it comes through at about 72 grams. So we'll see how it flies and we'll see how long it goes for. I was keen to see how it would fly with the additional weight from the 800 mAh battery. Also, this battery didn't quite fit into the hatch underneath. Instead, I had to fit it just under the wing, which made it a little more top heavy. So I carried on with my endurance test just to see how long it would go. I'm just taking it easy. Uh, little did I know I was heading for stormy waters. 10 minutes. Something died. After about 15 minutes, the motors cut out. Uh, it came with three little motors uh, with a gear prop, and I guess they all just eventually burnt out. I've heard that they only last about 10 hours, and I've probably had about 20 flights, so that's probably about right. Anyway, I don't get any joy out of these old motors, so I ordered a new strong 1020 motor which took a couple of weeks to arrive from AliExpress and here it is it's quite a bit bigger than the other three motors it's a single motor with a gear and it comes with a slightly larger propeller uh, this is the original propeller and this is the, the new propeller here that's 4.4 inches versus 5 inches in Imperial so I've cut out the old motors and I've cut out a hatch so that I can put this back and you'll hardly notice that I've had to cut it open and I've ordered some magnets to attach the hatch permanently. I've had to cut out a bit of a, a recess here to fit the new motor and I'm going to glue that in shortly. Okay so the motor is now glued in place. I've installed it with about uh, one degree down to account for the high wing and three degrees right to counteract the torque from the motor. I've just weighed the plane and it's about the same weight, 58 grams, with the uh, 500 milliamp hour battery. And the thrust is about 34 grams. So that should be plenty of power to get this little plane airborne. It's a rainy day today, so uh, when we get the next fine day, I'll be able to test it out in the park. Okay, so we've got the new strong motor and we're about to test it out. Whoa! It's got a lot of power. <laughs> Now let's just get the trim right. Right, I've got full down trim. Let's do some aerobatics. Whee!
Oh my god. I'm happy with how the new motor went. Uh, after one of my less than spectacular landings, I think yeah, the yeah. battery came loose and moved backwards, making the plane really tail heavy. So I've included some footage of how the plane flies when it's tail heavy. Yeah, yeah. After the wait. Yeah, true. The new 1020 strong motor worked out well on the 949S. However, I wasn't able to complete endurance testing because the wind got up too strong. Fortunately, the next day turned out calm and fine, so I was able to do an endurance test on both the 500 and the 800 million power batteries. Let's see how I got on. I'm here out of the park and I'm going to do an endurance test on the 500 million power battery. Little boost of speed there. Oh, we ran out of battery. Uh, well, with the 500 million power battery, I got about just over 10 minutes flight time. I was kind of gunning it and doing aerobatics, not just cruising around. But I guess that's what I would expect from this battery with this motor. Okay, this time I'm going to try the 800 million power battery to see how long it goes. I've actually rubber banded it in underneath to um, position it slightly further forward and lower to give it a more forward center of gravity. We'll see how long it goes for. Definitely flies differently with this battery, uh, more solid in the air. Yeah, she's got a lot of power, this battery. It's a 25C 800 million power battery. Okay, so we've got seven minutes so far on this battery. It's still plugging along. It seems to fly okay. We've had 12 minutes now. Thirteen minutes. Seventeen minutes. Okay, <laughs> trying to make out what's this little bird doing here. <laughs> Twenty-one minutes, and we're still going. A 
land in the tree, I can't do that. 25 minutes, we still got it. That flies well with the 800 milliamp hour battery, I'm happy with this. We're just coming up to 30 minutes now. Oh, look at those wings flex. <laughs> A little bit of power helps in the loop. 36 minutes and still going. Yeah, still a bit of juice there. 37 minutes. Will we make 40 minutes? Thirty-eight minutes. Oh, I think we've finally run out of juice. It's uh, thirty, just coming up to thirty-nine minutes. So, counting my takeoff time, that's probably about a thirty-eight-minute flight. Well, after that thirty-eight-minute flight, I'm just about ready for a cup of tea and a lie down. My thumbs are a little bit numb and pretty pleased with the performance of the 800 million power battery it uh, seems to fly okay with the additional weight and it has plenty of power for maneuvers and uh, like i just demonstrated i got 38 minutes flight out of this nice brand new battery so in conclusion i'm very pleased with the new 1020 strong motor that i've installed in this little f949s it hasn't added any weight, but it has improved the performance. The 800 milliamp hour battery has also been a success. That adds about 10 grams to the weight of the model, but with the new strong motor, it increases the thrust by about 20 grams to enhance the performance. The model still seems to fly well with the additional weight. In fact, I think it's a little bit more stable in the wind. I would definitely recommend this as a model for getting back to the hobby. Um, you can fly it in quite restricted areas. It's practically indestructible uh, when you crash it and it's a great little model if you want to have family and friends around and, and give them a go at the RC hobby. I look forward to progressing to the next level now and flying some larger uh, more aerobatic models with ailerons. Uh, so if you check out my channel Dave's Fun RC uh, you'll see some reviews coming up in the near future. See you then.